If you're playing World of Warcraft with your hands on these buttons on WASD, you are wrong. This is not the correct option to do it. This is old school, out of date, and just straight up worse than this. Watch quickly, it's better. ESDF. That's right. Shifting your hand over just one button across the keyboard makes a world of a difference and you will thank me for it. I know you might think I'm crazy right now, but trust me, watch this video. I got four points for you and you're not going to be able to not switch, which means you have to switch to ESDF. It's going to make your game more efficient. Your quality of life is going to increase from the extra buttons you have and you're going to overall have more fun because of it. that's what I'm all about here on this channel. Let's break down why this ESDF is the best way. All right, here we go. Breaking down the default hand position here. This is where your hand normally sits. I'm going to look at it right here. You are easily on WASD, and if you want to move backwards, you got this right here. First of all, your movement keys should be move forward, move backwards, strafe left, and strafe right. That's a whole separate topic I'm going to talk about in the keybind video I'm going to do about keybinds in general. This is just ESDF stuff to get you on board. So if I relax my hand here, this is the position. My pinky rests on shift very easily on shift. If you look at my, my pinky's like in the center of shift. We'll get to that here in a second. How it's easily in the center and if I moved it over, it's still on shift. And if I put my hand in an actual a gaming position, I'm, I'm easily on these. My pinky is still on shift and there we go. If I move my hand over, number one, it puts my hand more centralized in the keyboard and watch what happens. I'm going to kind of show it here. Boom. Now, look what happens. First of all, my pinky still easily rests on shift. So I use tons of shift modifiers for lots of abilities, shift focus modifiers, all that stuff. So easily, you don't lose anything about shift. You can still easily press shift. It's not even hard at all. It's the same exact thing. This opens up Q, A, and Z for my hand now. That was not there. Whenever I'm here, there is nothing right here. There is nothing in the spot next to my finger. All here, there is nothing I can press. Right with my I can I can press tab. That's fine. Caps lock is fine. Also, you should should buy in caps lock. That's a whole nother conversation. Uh, and then shifts right here. Sure. But if I shift my hand over, I can still press tab. Very easy. Not hard at all. Caps lock. Fine. Very easy. Tab targeting is very rarely used in the first place. I also unbind tab targeting. That's a whole nother conversation as well. I have lots of videos coming. Stay tuned. Tab is easy to hit. Caps is easy to hit. And shift is still very easy to hit. It's the longest button, right? But it also unlocks Q, A, and Z. Three more keybinds that are high quality keybinds. What I mean by high quality keybinds is if I'm trying to press something like seven, you should never bind anything to seven. Look at the awkward position my hand has to be in to hit seven. No, no, no. Six is even still a little bit much for me. I don't really have anything important bound to six. Five is great. Four is great. Three is great. All that stuff. But then even with the numbers up here, if I shift back to WSD for a second, five is kind of hard and six is out of range. So everything six is now seven because when I shift my hand over, six is kind of reaching it, but seven you should not do. In the same version of in the WASD setup, you shouldn't really do six, I don't believe. It's too far out of the way. But now my hand's more centralized. I can grab six. I can grab tilde. And you could debate here that it also opens up QAZ and the tilde button. But anyway, I usually don't use tilde. Tilde is my hearthstone setup. With my hand in the center of the keyboard, look how easy it is. I can actually choose to rest my hand here. I can rest my hand on A. Maybe Maybe A is a very important button right here, which actually brings me to my second point of you can rest your hands rest position can be here or here on A or on shift. And A could be a very high priority something. Maybe it's a tank cooldown, the very quick, like I'm taking damage and you press it really quick. Or it's an interrupt where you can quickly interrupt something, a teleport, a movement ability, whatever you want to put on A, you now have A out of nowhere to be able to press. And it's the stupid easiest button to press ever. It's literally a default rest position. The other three fingers are resting on movement. And this one's resting on an actual button now instead of on shift. Or you could choose to have it rest on shift. Those are my top two points because also look at Q. Q, very easy to press. Z, very easy to press. I just pull my pinky in and it's on Z very, very easily. And here, pressing Z, I have to kind of do this thing or pull my ring finger down. And now Z is X. Because if you think about it, every button that was, if you were used to WASD, all of these buttons now become this. So your ZXC now become boop. XCV and everything's just slid over one. So whatever your bindings are right now, literally copy paste your bindings from your WASD setup to your ESDF setup and just move them one button over and it's the same dang thing. And you also gain these three buttons right here. It's a no brainer why people aren't switching. And here we go. Point number three, people say, oh, it's it's hard and like, it's hard to switch and all that kind of stuff. I'll get to that here in a second too. When you type on a keyboard, what where do your hands go? In the home position. If you know how to type quickly and efficiently, your hands go in the home position. So much so that 
where I put two little nipple button raised things on F and J. So whenever you sit with ESDF as your movements, guess where your pointer finger is sitting on? An actual nub on the keyboard showing you an, a tactile feel for where your hand should be on the keyboard, which is ESDF. Are you seeing the picture now? I might get a little hyped up right now because this is just, I'm so passionate about this. But WASD, I would argue, is harder to do because you don't know where WASD is. If I'm, if I'm blindly pressing, I don't know where WASD is. Oh wait, I feel the F. There's my ESDF. I'm good to go. So I'll address that point now. People, the biggest thing I'm gonna see down in the comments, the biggest thing I tell people is, I'm just so used to WSD. It's just not, I'm telling you, it's worth it. Every person who has tried the ESDF and tried it for at least a week, you'll get it. Just fully dive in, move all, change all of your bindings, and I promise you, you'll just change your hand over. And the only time it's gonna be hard is if you move your hand off the keyboard and you come back, you're probably gonna to gravitate towards the WASD. I totally get it. But guess what helps with you shifting that focus to re-gravitate towards? This F button has the, the button on it, the little nipple there to touch and press so you can actually remember that your hand's there. And when you go to type, your hand's also there. So in general, you would just put your hand in a typing position and raise your middle finger up, and now I'm ready to go. Fully dive into this, change your character's keybinds all the way over to ESDF, do this. Don't put anything on Q, A, or Z yet. Don't put any keybinds there yet. Just fully get used to doing this, fully get used to doing this. And then once you, I feel like you're used to doing it, maybe, you know what? Let's put some abilities on Q, A, and Z. Put something cool on A, put um, like for myself, A is usually a tanking a cooldown ability that I need to use quickly. A Z is a movement ability, some sort of leap, like a warrior leap or a infernal strike for demon hunters. And Q is usually my throwing weapon ability. Something that I don't really want to reach up here for, but it is sometimes part of a rotation depending on your class, is to be able to throw a weapon in there. So Q is my ranged weapon attack for my melee classes. And if I didn't have those and I move my hand back over here, now where are those buttons going? I'm gonna have to jam, cram them in somewhere else that's way less efficient than what I have here. So is it worth it to change? Yes, it's worth it. Are you gonna go through like a week, maybe five days of like, oh, this is kind of clunky and weird? Yes, but it's, this F button will help you f -f find your way to the truth of how you should play this game. And the fourth option, of why you should do this is there are no drawbacks apart from you being saying right now I'm used to WASD if you try this you'll get used to this it's not like it's impossible your brain got used to WASD because you were using WASD so if you use ESDF and you fully embrace it it will get used to that I promise that's how your brain works so apart from that complaint about, oh, I'm used to it, sure, that's a complaint, but it, there is zero drawbacks to this system. You're no worse off, you don't lose any keybinds, you still have your shift modifier. I would also argue that control is easier for me to hit now. I have decently bigger hands, and if I if I curl my hands up like this, my the butt of my heel of my hand sits on control. I press control with the heel of my palm right here. So I can easily, I could just push my, I move my pinky up and I flatten out my hand, and I can press control right there, very easily. And for anybody worried about the alt button. Yes, your hand sitting here, it's easier to press alt right here. That's maybe the one argument you could make. First of all, I hate alt modifiers. I think they're the worst modifier. Shift is better. Control is better. So why would you need a third modifier? And if you're needing so many modifiers, if your hand's here, you'll have Q, A, and Z, and those are more buttons for you anyway. Yes, alt right here. Pressing it is easy. And if you move your hand over, you have to curl your thumb in. You have to curl your thumb in a little bit under your hand to press it. But honestly, the type of buttons I press for alt are non-combat things or self-casting things sure and just curling your thumb in right there what is your thumb doing anyway it's just pressing spacebar you're fine curl your thumb there and you can even have your default position be right here if you can see my thumb and then it's just literally right there slide your thumb over you'll feel it and you can press alt so i hope i've made the case to shift over to esdf and if you like this thought process i have right here and you want to help make your games even better more efficient more fun i have a ton more videos coming out on keybinds i'm probably too passionate about keybinds i stream a, i stream a lot on youtube here on youtube subscribe so you can get alerted for all of that kind of stuff with the bell i love talking about keybinds you can come on my live streams. I'll talk to you about your keybinds. We'll brainstorm and workshop how you can have the best keybind setup possible. Setting up keybinds on your mouse scroll wheel, mouse button with macros. I have a ton of things to help optimize your game to make it the most fun and easy to play possible. I have a lot more keybinding videos coming out on how to set up your keybinds, op most optimal ways, different ways to think about your keybinds to make it mindlessly simple across all characters. Stay tuned for all that stuff because I'm thinking outside the box and I hope you are too. Peace.